What's going on, people? How you doing? TK coming at you. And I like to challenge people's thought process. So I'm going to challenge your mental capacity to explain if you care to, because most people don't care to respond or explain and you don't have to. But I am challenging you and saying, why do you not accept Bitcoin? Why do you not accept gold? And why do you not accept silver? Okay, so everybody accepts paper money. Everybody loves paper currency. The government says to use it for all... Uh, private and public debts and you have no problem with that but when you mention gold silver and bitcoin to people they're like i have a problem with that so tell me what your physical problem is with having alternative forms of currency like gold silver and bitcoin now i know that the primary problem that most people have is ignorance and your lack of understanding of uh, Bitcoin, your lack of understanding of gold and silver is the reason why you choose not to participate in it because you're like, I just don't, I don't fucking know, so I don't do anything with it, and I'm gonna stick to what I do know. I know how to go get some paper, and I know how to go to the store and spend that paper. But when I say simple things like fucking paper is a is a slavery system that doesn't spend very well, and you could actually empower yourself financially by having gold, by having Bitcoin. Bitcoin spends further than paper because it's worth more. And people are like, yeah, I don't want to fucking deal with Bitcoin. I'm not interested. I said, well, if you save $10,000 in Bitcoin over the course of a year, it's going to be worth more than what you can possibly make by saving $10,000 in a bank. And people say, fuck you. I don't want that. So I just want to challenge your thought process to say why you're so fucking negative towards Bitcoin when it can help you financially and it can improve your quality of life. That's the only thing I use Bitcoin for is to pay for shit that costs more than what I normally could afford. So when I want to buy something expensive, I'm definitely going to pay for it in Bitcoin because Bitcoin is worth more. That's economics 101. Use a higher purchase power to get a stronger buy when you're trying to buy something that is strong <laughs> so anything that makes sense people fucking argue with anything that fucking can advance you people like fuck that i don't know about it so i'm not going to do anything about it well damn i don't i, I want to challenge your thought process and i want to know why is it that you say no to gold no to silver and no to bitcoin so when paper becomes worth less or the longer you hold paper it is worth less than what it was when you first got it so tell me why is it that you guys are so fucking closed-minded so fucking stupid and so fucking negative towards gold silver and bitcoin the fact is kings have gold the fact is the 21st century is advancing to the point where bitcoin is gonna be able to create millionaires because of the the supply and demand nature of money in equals valuation of the coin and more money in equals higher valuation over time. So if you save in Bitcoin, you're going to ride that valuation increase higher than what you could make in a fucking savings account, higher than what you could save in terms of putting $10,000 in a bank. So I'm going to save $10,000 in Bitcoin and watch what the fuck I have at the end of the year as opposed to you saving uh, $10,000 in paper and cash and then getting nothing from a bank. So I'm challenging you, and I want you to join me in this experiment. If you're capable of saving $10,000 in a year, do it. And I'm going to save $10,000 in Bitcoin. And then at the end of the year, let's fucking play big bank, take little bank. Let's play compare egos. You know, human beings seem to be very apt and, and good at that. People like to compare and compete, and I'm better than you. And your shit. So let's see how well your shit works in a bank. And I'm going to show you how well my shit works by saving in Bitcoin. And then we're going to, we're just going to prove it by letting time answer the story. Letting time tell the story. So I'm challenging your thought process. I'm telling you whether you accept it or not, because most people don't accept it. But I'm telling you that gold, silver, and Bitcoin has a higher valuation and purchase power than the dollar. So if you convert your dollars into gold, silver, and Bitcoin, you're going to fare better than people who only have paper and look at paper as God.